Hello everyone, how are you guys doing today? So today we are going to be teaching you how to do learn um, these moving type of objects, if you know what I'm trying to say. Um, there's a few things about these. You can uh, make things more jazzy and everything and uh, like just have it pretty cool. There's a few things. I'm going to make another video on music reacting lights so you can have a clue on those. These ones are going to be like kind of like decals, I guess you could say, but they're basically just using beams. But um, they're like, let's say you want to do a pointing direction or just animation to an object, kind of like a UI. But then there's also rotating, which will this be here. So I'll just show you real quick. Um, super simple stuff, guys. Uh, I'll let you know in a second. Um, but, so, let's see here. So this is what it's going to be like. So like if you say right here, this is perfect for a conveyor in the Tycoon, in which I will actually um, show you guys in a second here some cool stuff. But then these are like some cool lines, I guess you could say on. So this was used in my STS line, shoulder to shoulder, for a game. Um, and they're pretty cool. Just have a little color and stuff like that. So you can do a lot of things with that. Um, then right here, there's rotating, which rotates an o the object and it's perfect for certain things um but i will show you here so yes let's see here uh give me one second i'll be right back okay so we're going to talk about the beams real quick um so when it comes to the beams this is kind of like the texture that i was talking about a while ago uh you're basically inputting a beam so if you were to search up beam like that you'd put that in but you want to assert in attachments, and attachment zero will be the just either way, and attachment one. So what happens is you're gonna put um, attachment one, whatever directions so you want to make sure you have the directions like this in attachments, and you gotta just put them to the end of each side so it knows where it's going. Or else, if you were to move up an attachment, by the way, if you want to move it, you just click that. So if you were to move it up like that see um and then you know you can do things like this like you can really have fun with these these are like one of the things i love to do is just move them around um but so that's pretty simple texture id grab that um to find a texture id it's kind of like i said in the last video um it's probably decals so if you do want to go and find one go to the roblox and then go to create. I I'm just gonna guess. I haven't done it before, to be honest. Yeah. So I would just do decals. Let me just try it. Uh, arrow. And you can search these things in the toolbox, and you're, you'll find tons of them. But I think this is perfect. So if you were, let's grab this one. Let's see if this works. It should work. Um. Grab that, go right here, here, and then perfect, it did work. So, yeah, let's pretty sure you do it. Um, the, no, no, no. Oh, what was that? Did that like move with me? Oh, that's kind of sick. I've never seen that before. Um, to change the reaction mode static, huh? You can change the length and everything. I'm trying to figure out. I think it's the offset. Oh, that just makes it. Hmm. Oh shit. What the hell was that? Curve size. No. Okay, I don't know what's going on. Oh, it's probably the attachments. So you just gotta fix up stuff, guys. I don't. You gotta just fix it up. Try your best. Um. Yeah, it's attachments. Um. But yeah, so that is how you get the text ID. So there we go. <laughs> I'm gonna get rid of that though, cause I don't like that one. Like the other one. There we go. So, this one, on the other hand, 
let's say we grab one of these. This one had certain attachments, of course, but you're gonna go to beam, and this one looks like it had a color overlay with a color sequence like this, and you can customize this. If you want, you go like blue. So let's see. I think I messed it up. <laughs> okay, it's that one. It is kind of weird. Let me go white. I can't really see it. Let's go zero. Hmm. Why wasn't it working? Okay. Well, you understand the part. <laughs> I'm not too much concluded on these kind of things. Um, the beams are the beams. Uh, and pretty much you just uh, do what you want with that, I guess you could say. And I don't know. There's a lot to it. But those are beams. So if you want to add some cool stuff, this is perfect for your conveyor in the Tycoon, if you know what I'm trying to say. Um, and I'll show you in a second. But um, going for this one, this is a super simple script. This is just grabbing the C frame, which is like position and stuff like that. Kind of like the, I, I don't even know how to say it. Um, it's basically just in a loop, and then it's just turning it, and that's it. So that's a pretty simple script. Um, I'm going to make a model for you guys that you can use, but then these are really cool because you can really use it with some fun stuff, and I'll show you here in just a second. So this is like a test of my other one where you can see, I'm, I'm fixing a lot of stuff up. I'm gonna make like a thing where it can tell you tycoon owner and then I'm making a new one up here. But see like I added this one up here instead where you can like do that and I still need to fix it because it's not disappearing. But um, that's like an exclusion of that. So this is a really cool thing I decided to do. Now, if you are trying to make some cool designs in your tycoon, this is perfect. So if you were to look at that right down there, um, this shows what the items are going to be dropping, and I haven't figured out why it's been broken, but for some reason it's, it's, it's not dropping it, and it is the mesh dropper, which is weird. And also, you guys are having problems with the buttons, with the game passes. I honestly have no clue. Um, there's something wrong. I'll have to show you in a bit, though. But let's say for that instance, if you want to use that spinning idea, I'm going to give you guys it, but... Let's, let me, uh, yeah, so let me, tycoons here, purchases, dropper one, we're going to save that, because that's the cool one, you know, I'm just going to cancel out of that, but let me, let's see here, I'm just going to show you guys mine, just so we can show you what the script was, so you got to, Dependency is whatever. Game Pass is the value. Make sure you change that. And the price is one or zero. Um, but I honestly have no clue, guys, uh, to be honest with you. Oh, and I did add a new script I will be showing you guys in a bit. It's called Auto Collect. And I'm going to make a button or something like that where you can do auto collecting. And if you want, you can turn it into a Game Pass. But um, yeah. So. There's that. Let me get back to the other world. Okay, so I'm uploading it right now. I don't know the definition for moving and rotating because they're not really moving. They're just like look like they are. But, um, yeah. So, there we go. I'm going to open that up. Okay, so this one does also have a different script in it. They're kind of the same though. So, oh wait, not that one. Handle. This is the handle. You just want to put your object in there and then rotate. So this is a different kind of script, but it's like literally the exact same. So, yeah. Feel free to just mess around, guys. Do whatever you want. And like I said, the mesh idea in my recent video, I use the same thing here where you put the mesh um, and you put the mesh in there and the texture ID and then you just rotate it. So, yeah. That's pretty much it for this video. I hope you did like. Please comment, subscribe, and share. And I will see you guys in the next one. Uh, yeah. Thank you guys so much.